The water cycle is one of the basic cycles in ecology and it's a little bit different from some of the other cycles because unlike the others, like say the carbon cycle, you don't store a significant amount of water in the bodies of the various organisms in the, uh, in the planet. Because yes, we do have water in our bodies, but consider the oceans. Who's bigger? They are. So it can begin, let's say, in the ocean. How does water get from the ocean and lakes into the air? By evaporation. So it evaporates and as you know it starts to condense and forms the clouds and atmospheric humidity if you've been in the south. As the water starts to rise in concentration eventually it'll precipitate. Precipitation is what scientists call rain, hail, snow, pretty much waterfall down from sky. That's precipitation. When it hits the ground, it can be absorbed into the ground. That's called infiltration and become part of the groundwater where it can stay for a while and eventually wind up back in the oceans or wind up back into the lakes and rivers. You can also have what's called runoff. That's when the water runs off the ground and ultimately winds up in the oceans again or into rivers and ultimately into a freshwater lake. Then you can also have it stored up temporarily in the form of ice or glaciers or snow. Now, where organisms like ourselves do get involved in this and have a significant impact is through a process called transpiration. I have always had a problem remembering this and the way I finally got it so that I could understand what transpiration was is I, this is a process where plants or trees release water through their leaves. This is something that they do to help pull additional water up from the roots. So I always thought trees and transpiration. I thought I release water from my armpits. I call that perspiration. So I combine those two into tree perspiration, transpiration. So the transpiration of water from trees can actually put a fair amount of water into the atmosphere. The trees themselves are not storing the water. They're simply acting as a funnel to help it evaporate faster. And this is how um, rainforests can play a major part in the water cycle and influence the climate around them.